Hello everybody, today we're going to be exploring polymers. A polymer is made of material made from many identical molecules. Monomers, we call them monomers, uh, that have linked together into a chain to make a giant molecule. And they're almost always organic materials. And that's kind of one of the important things uh, for organic chemistry is the making of polymers. Natural polymers include cellulose and rubber while synthetic polymers include plastics, synthetic rubbers, synthetic fibers, such as rayon or nylon. Polymers are giant molecules that form in two ways. One, by addition and by condensation of thousands of individual monomers. So here is an example of addition polymerization. This form of polymerization occurs when an unsaturated hydrocarbon, so that's a hydrocarbon with a double bond breaks open so that one bond can be used to link to the other. Ethylene is a widely used monomer that forms polymers by addition. The chemical formula for an addition is almost identical to that of the monomer from which it forms. When we're talking about a monomer, that's any organic molecule that's identical that can combine together to form a polymer. All right, so condensation uh, polymerization the alternative to addition polymerization is called condensation polymerization. This is more like a chemical reaction between reactants, and the chemical formula of the polymer is not the same as the chemical formula of the molecules from which it was formed. In this process, each stage in the polymer chain forms as a water molecule is expelled. It's the expulsion of water that gives this form of polymerization its name. A much wider range of polymers can be made from condensation polymerization, from addition polymerization. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this particular uh, molecule. Uh, this particular molecule is hexane 16-diamine. Diamine means that these blues are in twos. That's the that's the that's the name of the group for an amine. Okay, so this, there's a amine here, and this is the single bond that I have. That's what that little sign and there's a mean here okay uh, in this case what happens is that uh, there's a carboxyl group a carboxyl group is a C double bond O or we write it like this so C double bond O H okay that's a carboxylic functional group uh, what happens so we'll have We'll do a CO2 right here, OH, one of the, one of the hydrogens from, from the, one of the hydrogens from the mean, one of the hydrogens from the mean is going to come off the hydroxyl group from the carboxylic acid moiety comes off, um, you might hear me say moiety sometimes, that's the exact same thing as a functional group. So a carboxylic acid functional group, carboxyl moiety, same thing. When they do, they're going to combine together, and this is where the oxygen and the amine group have formed together. Uh, notice there's another carboxylic acid functional group on this side, and here's a, another uh, amine group on that side. They can just keep um, binding together time and time again, forming very, very long. Um, polymer chains. All right. It's also worthy to note that polymers uh, can have different properties. They can stretch very far or they can, you know, just think of different plastics that you know and the different chemical properties that they have. Polymers, one of the ways that you can affect the chemical properties is through a process known as cross-linking. Okay, so let's see here. So in this case, we have another carboxylic acid functional group it just looks different but if we if we just see that it's a uh, it's well, this is another way to represent a polymer this is the representation of the polymer chain so just many units of it so it's not meant to be taken literally it's just a it's a, a mental thought exercise on how to think about these polymers but these are representative polymers and these particular polymers have carboxylic acid functional groups on it I'm just gonna write this I'm just going to write this the correct way so uh, so that we can see. So here's the negative bond here. 
and then there is a double bond oxygen. And in this case, uh, the negative charge is going to be attracting sodium cations, okay? Um, well, it turns out that if you use a plus two charge cation, that plus two charge cation allows for intermolecular uh, attraction between the, the positive two charge of the calcium and the two, so there's two carboxylic acid functional groups here. They actually are going to be attracted to one another. Uh, this, this attraction force provides a lot more strength 